Yep. Good morning. It is actually nine o'clock in the morning here and we're getting ready for another road trip. Yes, indeedy. If you've been following the channel here for uh, a little while, you know that we did get the bumper wrapped at Insane Designs and the only eyesore left on this damn truck right now is of course the front bumper. So this needs to be taken care of and we are of course going back to in Shane Designs in Harrisburg. I gotta be there by noon. It is about a three hour drive. I need to fill up the truck, get some breakfast. So needless to say, uh, we gotta get moving. If you missed a previous video, we did get all new sets of uh, pads and rotors on the truck. Also got an oil change. So we are ready to go for this 200 mile road trip. We are almost at Insane Designs, and once again, it is a rainy day. <laughs> when I arrive in the Harrisburg area, it seems to be uh, part of the norm here. Here we are. Oh, open the door. So I guess they're all at lunch. <laughs> Someone did open the door for me, but uh, yeah, we got to get this truck in here. Man, it is tight. I pulled in the passenger side mirror already. Now we gotta pull this one in. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. All right, I had to straighten it up a little bit. What's up? You were to lunch. <laughs> I figured everyone went to lunch. There we go. What's up? Are you guys about to eat? Yeah. So everything's been moving along pretty good here. Check out the truck with no front bumper. It looks awesome. It's like a pre-runner look. I think it looks sick. And here we have the bumper all wrapped. Now all we need to do is, of course, well not me, but them get it back on the truck. Yeah, this has been the missing piece to have this bumper wrapped black. That means that we have no eyesore chrome left. I can't wait until it's on the truck. Hopefully it doesn't clip aside there. All right, so we're finally done. Thanks to uh, Shane and uh, Curtis and uh, Dan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm horrible with names. Look how good this looks. It is absolutely awesome. Finally, we have zero chrome on this damn truck and black Ford letters in the grill. Even for an aftermarket grill, it doesn't have to be an OEM Rafter grill available at Enchain Designs. I mean, the thing this day, it looks so good. And the truck's not even clean, it's dirty, it still looks awesome. Way better than a wrap. <laughs> right, I agree. Yeah, it looks good, man. Very, very good. Now, uh, I, now I can wait a little longer with buying a new front bumper, because this looks so, so nice. And yeah, we also, or they did, remove that ugly a front license plate bracket that was on there. So yeah, it looks pretty much finished. That's nice. Yeah, it sounds good, huh? Alright, see you guys later. <laughs> When you get up there, it's really loud. No, that's good, man. It's like no drone in there either. I know. It's perfect. Wow. All it all it has is a. It's it's actually a pretty decent sized resonator, but there's no mufflers and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's so. the 5.0 in there, right? Oh yeah. There's no EcoBoosting. It sound like that. <laughs> So here we are once again on a three hour drive back home to Pittsburgh from Harrisburg. 
So apparently there was a big accident on the turnpike when I was about to go home to, from Harrisburg and it rerouted me. So I'm on these desolate little country roads here. And it's probably gonna take me a little longer, but look how beautiful this is. Look at the mountains. I gotta say it is pretty, uh, pretty <laughs> to drive through these country roads in Pennsylvania. Roxbury, wherever that is. I have no idea where I'm at. So this is pretty interesting. I'm back out on the turnpike from being redirected by Waze. And there is not a single car ahead of me and not a single car behind me. I haven't seen a single car for about five minutes. Maybe there's one way up there. So I feel like I bypassed that big accident that was on 76 and passed pretty much everyone and now the roads are like desolate. No, I actually see one, two cars up there. There are cars going in this direction, but going in my direction, I haven't seen any cars. This is the weirdest thing. I've never been on an empty turnpike like this. That must have been a really, really big accident because it did say that it was uh, gonna delay my ETA by over an hour. cleaned up a little bit goes without saying that driving for three hours uh, during the summertime uh, <laughs> it's gonna get your vehicle splashed with bugs and that kind of thing but yeah I did, I did a quick little pressure wash and then I uh, ran it through that touchless car wash and it did a pretty good job but let me know what you guys think of the black bumper and the black Ford letters on the grill now if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen pictures of the truck and the way it looks before this video actually goes live. So if you're not already, follow me on Instagram, at autovlog4, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff of what's going on in my life and on the channel before it's actually on the channel. We do a lot of announcements of, you know, meet and greets and that kind of thing. So if you're interested in those kind of things, now you know. But about seven to eight weeks ago, I was standing right here in this spot as well, talking to you guys about what mods I should do to the F-150. Um, I've said it many times before in videos. I never thought that it would this build that is would come along as quickly as it has I almost feel like the truck is Finished I Mean it just looks so good in my opinion, but I'll be the first one to uh, admit that it is not finished <laughs> We will have other things done to this truck now regarding the front bumper I've said that I, I, I had one in order. I canceled it took too long got bored of it and so on um, I was gonna order another one right away that I really really liked but I decided to wait a little bit because I knew I wanted to get this front bumper wrapped I don't think the stock bumper looks bad. It was just looking bad in chrome now that it is black I really really like it however I don't think it is as aggressive as it can be and it is a bit of a lie actually because it's not completely de chrome because we still have these tow hooks here in chrome I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that it doesn't really bother me all that much to be honest with you I just wanted the uh, front to be blacked out which it now is these little tow hooks are they're, they're not really a big deal so huge thanks again to in Shane designs and the whole team over there Shane Curtis Dan Pat Rowell and everybody uh, always awesome to go there and visit they're great guys if you need any type of vinyl wrap work done to any vehicle you have really not, not really trucks and just Corvettes and that kind of thing any vehicle you have definitely hit them up I highly recommend them but before we end today's video I do want to let everyone know that on Tuesday July 10th at the waterfront in Pittsburgh it's actually at Uno's bar and grill there will be a benefit dinner for driven to cure which actually benefits rare kidney 
cancer research. This will be going on from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Myself, I will be making an appearance there. I don't know exactly around what time. I have a lot going on on Tuesday, but I definitely wanted to give that event a shout out because it is for something really, really good, and that is the research of kidney cancer. If you guys are familiar with Driven to Cure and the Nissan GTR, I'm sure you've seen it around on the internet. I know that Car Throttle uh, did a piece on the gentleman that owns that car and the car itself i mean it's for a great cost so anything that you go uh, and get at restaurant uno's 20 percent goes to the research of kidney cancer but with that being said we're uh, getting to the end of this video here i'm very happy with what the truck looks like now but as i said uh, it's not completely done quite yet i wanted to ask you guys what you want to see next um, i've already talked about of course an aftermarket front bumper I've talked about possibly getting a uh, complete lift kit for the truck, new shocks and so on, because of the stiff ride with this leveling kit that I currently have on there. I love this truck so much. There's so much potential in it. I know a lot of people have been asking about, you know, interior details and stuff like that. I have some plans for that as well. Not that I'm getting a full leather interior right away, but you know, we'll start uh, small and just keep going. But it definitely is something special when you start modifying a vehicle i mean there's pros and cons with it of course but when you start doing it that the pro is that it becomes more personalized and you you fall in love with the vehicle once again i mean like most of you guys know is that we've had this truck for over three years this was my wife's daily driver and then when we decided to buy it outright after the lease was done it became mine and now uh yeah it looks completely completely different my wife will stand there and stare at this truck many times and be like i don't even recognize it because it is a drastic drastic change so leave your suggestions in the comment section below regarding what you want to see happen with the f-150 and as time goes by maybe what you specifically want to see with the f-150 will happen now before we end here i can't forget to mention Wednesday, July 11th, you guys got to come out to the tune-up show. I mentioned this in a previous video, but this is going to be absolutely awesome. We're going to be on Heinz Field. It's going to be about 250 supercars parked on the field. And then, of course, the beast as well. Not quite a supercar, but, you know, it can hold its own. No, but seriously, that is going to be absolutely awesome. I've heard some rumors that some other automotive YouTubers might be joining as well. Uh, I'm not going to mention names in case they don't come. I don't want to do false advertising here, but yeah, it's going to be a great time. I've looked at the weather. It's supposed to be awesome weather, 85 degrees, sunny. It's going to be a really, really nice day. That starts at 6 p.m., but you guys can be around the stadium earlier than that, and I'm sure you're going to see some things that you find interesting. So now you know that as well, and this video is effectively over. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you like what you see, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next update.